New research published in the European Journal of Social Psychology suggests that people believe in conspiracy theories in part out of a need to feel unique. But I'm pretty sure that that's just what the researchers wanted me to think so that I would make this video about it. Stupid researchers don't know how smart I am. Uh, German psychologists recruited 238 Americans uh, to answer questions on how many different conspiracy theories they believed in, and they also asked them to rate how important it was for them to be distinctive. They found, sure enough, that people who uh, wanted to feel unique were more likely to believe in conspiracy theories. They also found that belief in one conspiracy theory was correlated with belief in a bunch of conspiracy theories, something that the literature has shown repeatedly to be the case. I mean, if you can believe that we never actually landed on the moon, it's not a far stretch for you to think that 9-11 was an inside job. The researchers then conducted a follow-up test with another 465 Americans, which supported the results from their first study. Both of those studies showed correlation, but they didn't show causation. Uh, do people believe in conspiracy theories because they want to feel unique, or is that just a coincidence? To answer that, they set up a third test, and this is where things get a little weird. They told about 300 American subjects about a German conspiracy theory in which people believe smoke detectors produce hypersound, which is a danger to human beings. They told half the subjects that this conspiracy theory was a very popular one in Germany, believed by the majority of the population. They told the other half of the subjects that it was an unpopular theory, that only a small percentage of Germans believed in it. Among the subjects who believed in a lot of different conspiracy theories, they were actually more likely to believe the smoke detector theory if they thought it was unpopular as opposed to popular. That's like hearing four out of five dentists recommend brushing your teeth and then throwing away your toothbrush. But it fits if you're the sort of person who wants to feel unique. And believe it or not, you have probably experienced this feeling yourself. Uh, have you ever liked a band or a television show, but then felt irrationally annoyed when it got really popular? I mean, I've been a hipster since the 90s, so I know that feeling all too well. I mean, I was annoyed when hipsters went mainstream. Uh, here's the crazier part, though, of that final study the researchers did. Uh, after it was over, they told all of the subjects that they had made up the smoke detector conspiracy theory specifically for the purposes of the study. Despite that, a full 25% of the subjects continued to believe in the conspiracy theory, despite being told that they completely made it up. And that number correlated with those people who had a high need to feel unique, which makes sense. I mean, the least popular conspiracy theory possible would definitely be the one that was literally just made up on the spot for the study that you just participated in. Get on that train quick before Dr. Oz is warning people to disable their smoke detectors. Uh, at that point, it'll be way too mainstream to bother believing in. I'll mention that this paper happened to be published at nearly the exact same time as another study from another team of researchers that showed the exact same effect. People who believe conspiracy theories have a desperate need to be unique. Now that's either a conspiracy or it's just the beauty of science coming together.